Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can install Hyperland in a base configuration on Endeavor OS based on DistroWatch. Endeavor OS is the most successful Arch Linux based distribution today. It's known for its stability, performance and great looking desktop environments. To make your and my life easier to install Hyperland in a base configuration, I have prepared a Hyperland starter package. The Hyperland starter package contains an installation script to install the core packages of a Hyperland base configuration plus the related configuration files. The result is a perfect starting point for your Hyperland experiments on Endeavor OS. The Hyperland starter package is available for you to download from my GitLab repository. You can find the link in the description below. And with that, let's start. To download the Endeavor OS ISO, you open endeavoros.com in your web browser, scroll down, and then you can choose the mirror that is close to your current location. For me, it's Germany, and I click here on download. When the download is done, you can create a bootable USB stick with Etcher if you want to install Endeavor OS on bare metal, on real hardware, on your computer, I will install Endeavor OS in a virtual machine. That's why I can use the ISO file directly. The download is done and I can create a virtual machine. I choose the ISO file that I have just downloaded. I know it's an Arch based Linux. Endeavor is not listed here, cannot be auto detected from Vid Manager. That's why I type Arch Linux. Forward 8 gigs and 12 CPUs in my case, 25 gigs for my hard drive, and I give it a name and Endeavor OS, and I customize the configuration before the installation because I switch to UEFI firmware. I move the CD-ROM to the top because in the CD-ROM is our ISO file attached. I click here on video IO and enable 3D acceleration because later on for Hyperland we need 3D acceleration. I click on apply and now we are already prepared to start the installation. I select here Endeavor OS and the system is booting up. And we are here in the live environment of Endeavor OS. The keyboard layout has changed automatically to DE. This is great. And before we start the installer, let me quickly change the screen resolution. To 9020 to 1080. I click on apply and I want to keep this configuration. Perfect. Now it looks much better. And we can start the installer. I will use the online method to get access to all desktop environments. First, I switch the language of the installer to English and I proceed with next. Europe Berlin is fine. I change the keyboard layout from installation to German. I will choose now Plasma as the starting point for my Endeavor OS installation because it makes sense to select a desktop environment with Wayland support. Click on next. This is fine. I can proceed. I will use system deboot. I will erase the disk and use the whole disk space. I enter my name, the password. I use the same password for the administrator account. This is great. Click on next and I start the installation. The installation is done and we can restart the system now. And we are ready to start Endeavor OS for the first time. All right, 
let's log in. And Plasma is starting. And we are here on Endeavor OS. Again, let's first change the screen resolution in the display settings to 1920 to 1080. I click on Apply and I will keep that screen resolution. Let's check if the system is up to date. First, I will update the mirrors. Germany is selected and I save the configuration. And now I can check for updates with yay. System is already up to date. Perfect. Now we are ready to download the Hyper Lens Starter package. With git clone gitlab.com slash stefan hyphen rabe slash hyperland hyphen starter dot git. Download is complete. And now we can have a look into the installation file. Let's open the file in the Hyperland Starter and you see here the one installed.sh. And the installer file is nothing special. The core command is here the sudo pacman-s where I install Hyperland, the status bar waiver, Rofi and Wofi as application launchers, Kitty and Alacrity as terminals, Dunst, the notification manager, Dolphin as the file manager, XTG desktop portal Hyperland is required for screen sharing, Qt5 valent, Qt6 valent, Hyperpaper to set up a wallpaper, Chromium, the default browser, and the true type font, Awesome, to set icons on the Waybar status bar. The last command is optional, but the script can copy the pre-configuration of the main modules, of the main packages from Hyperland Starter into the .config folder. And that's it. Let's give it a try. With CD into the Hyper Starter and start the script with dot slash one install. I confirm the installation, need to enter my password and I proceed with the installation of the packages. Yeah, installation is done and I can copy now the configuration files into the dot config folder with yes. Perfect. Here you see the comment that it's sometimes required to change the Hyperland conf, so the key main configuration file of Hyperland, for example, to change the keyboard layout and the screen resolution. And this is exactly what I will do now. I will search again for editor, click on open, make sure that the hidden files are showing because the .config folder is in hidden folder. And now I can access the folder. I can click here on hyper and open the Hyperland conf. And here on top, I will now change the screen resolution to 920 to 1080. And the one disables the scaling mode. You see here that Waybar and Hyper paper will be executed when Hyperland starts. And here I will also change the keyboard layout from US to DE. When I scroll down in the key binding sections, you see that there are several changes because with super key return, I execute alacrity, but you can always jump back to the default configuration with super key Q exec kitty or any other key bindings that you want to modify. But let me show you the configuration now in action. Click on save, close this, close the terminal and log out. And now I can select here Hyperland as my desktop session and can log in. And here we are on Hyperland with the right screen resolution with Waybar on top. I can open a terminal with super key return. This is Alacrity, another terminal with super key return. I can switch to the second workspace and can start the browser Chromium with super key B. 
Here is Chromium. I can start the file manager Dolphin with super key E. Dolphin is there. And I can start Rofi with control super key return. And I can start any installed application. For example, again, kwrite the default editor of Plasma. So everything is working fine. Okay, that's it. Now you have a Hyperland base configuration on Endeavor OS as a great starting point for your Hyperland experiments. Have fun with it and see you next time.